you know, like, uh, like uh, you know, like uh, one of the questions one of the users uh, had mentioned, hey, I see this uh, 404 error. So what is this uh, 404 page that we see, right? So it's, it's basically a default backend. What it means is if you try to access the IP address of the node and there is a non-existent path, you know, you got to show some some useful uh, page to the user saying that, hey, this page doesn't exist or something is wrong. Otherwise, you know, the, the user is left clueless. So we launch something called as a default backend, which is like a catch-all entry for all the non-existing uh, paths or, you know, incorrect uh, domain uh, virtual host um, that are configured in the that are not configured in the ingress for example here you can see this is the default backend it uses uh, this particular image for the ingress uh, demo we are going to use the same kubernetes cluster and here we will have the same internal client uh, part and here you can see this gray parts um, the gray and black striped boxes, which are the nodes where you have the ingress controller running. So you can pick IP address of any of these parts and access your application. Um, I, I wanna show the demo before I take the questions here. So let's just uh, go through the demo. All right, let's switch to the default project. I, uh, so I already have an application called Alpha, and I just want to use that instead of uh, trying to create a new uh, uh, a, a new um, application. So what I can do is I can create a, an ingress by going to the load balancing tab, and then I can click on Add Ingress, and I can specify what is this. So this is a Alpha ingress and you know specify a host name and i can choose the workload and the port i believe it is 91 and i can save it it takes a few seconds for this to become active okay while this is going on let me take any questions if you guys have. Yeah, um, this one is uh, from Shivdeep. How do I create my ingress host name and not dependent on the node IP since the node IP can change? Uh, sure, I, I, I'll be covering that uh, soon. So I'll, I'll answer that question. Okay, cool. As we go through the next slides, yeah. Um, okay, next one is from Nathan who asks, is there any logic in an ingress that decides which node or pod to choose when a user requests the hostname and port? Uh, basically, it does uh, load balancing, right? So it, it does uh, traffic distribution. So uh, I think uh, there are uh, strategies that you can configure um, which are available uh, for Nginx uh, load balancing, like you know, you, you can change them. You know, you can have round, round robin or list connections and stuff like that. I think some of them are configurable, some of them are not. So there are different strategies. Cool. Okay. One more, and this is from Kelly, who asked asked uh, a while ago. So, so thanks for your patience, Kelly. Asked, um, would you recommend using Nginx or Istio for load balancing and ingress, and why? Okay, so um, at this point, you know, uh, you know, I'm not going to talk about Istio. So Istio is like a, a topic on its own. It's, it's, you know, we need to cover all the topics. So probably, you know, we can take the discussion offline, uh, or you know, we can we can have another talk in future where we can talk more about Istio. I think probably at that uh, context, you know, it it, it is it is uh, best best to answer that question at this point. You know, I, I would pass on that question. Okay, no problem. And I'll just mention that we do actually have uh, a whole Istio um, class coming up in. Uh, awesome. In yeah, June I think that, that, that would be the right uh, uh, yeah. place to ask the question. Yeah, cool. Okay, I don't see any others. Um, oh, here's one. I've set up the load balance, this uh, ingress load balancing as per the startup instructions for Rancher and don't actually know how to verify that it's working. How do I do that? 
Oh, we'll just do that right now. How do we verify the English that we just created, right? So we'll just check that. Okay, cool. So we have the load balancer uh, working here. And uh, let's just go to the nodes page. And we can see these are the different worker nodes. Let's pick one of these IP addresses. And from my laptop, let's just do a curl of this on port 90. Okay. Did I specify the right things? All right. Let's debug this guy. Let's uh, let's see. Okay. Let's go to the default. Um, I like to sometimes work with kubectl. So kubectl get deployment alpha dash oyaml so here we can see um, this one is uh, running on 9001 that's good container port 9001 the next thing is get service oh sorry all right so we have a service Oh, wait a second. So when I created the ingress, did I choose the right service? kubectl get ingress. All right, so that's my ingress. Oh, I got it. I, I think I, I know what, I, what I'm doing wrong. So here, you know, like I mentioned, ingress works with port 80 and port 40. I, I by mistake, I meant, uh, specified 91. So there you go curl blah 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 and we have a redirect what do we have a redirect for all right let's uh, look at the ingress Okay, let me, uh, uh, the service name is not correct, I believe. Okay, that's 91, that's that. Uh, uh, Morali, a couple people are pointing out that um, the redirect is for HTTPS, but you're asking for HTTP. Maybe that's the issue. I do not think so. So actually I had to specify a path. Okay, let me do this, right? So let me uh, delete this particular ingress and then let me delete it this way. And let me import a YAML. I have a YAML file. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, this should work. Let me just verify alpha. Okay, that's uh, okay. 
Okay, that is correct. And now let me go to load balancing, import, and then I'm creating an ingress named alpha, blah, 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 service port is 91. Okay, cool. still in the process of uh, creating it. Okay, while that is going on, let's just uh, uh, go through the other topic and then we can come back to this uh, demo.